Oh yeah, so what's up, Snurdcast? <laughs> You're, you've been here the whole time. Uh oh, that's not good. You shouldn't <laughs> have heard that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the things I was doing was <laughs> so Snurdcast. Um, back at it again with the one and only Cole Cannon. Thank hey, you so much, bro. Wait. <laughs> uh, you, you got it right the first time. I'm oh, the one did who it? Was, uh, at, at... Okay, my because on my screen it's this way. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's okay. Well, yeah, flip flop. We've uh, been doing a few of these, but today we're going to be talking about the new Spider Man show that dropped not and too I have long some, ago. I have some shit I want to bring up about it too. Oh, there's a lot. Yeah, yeah I know. You, there's you, a lot. So I dove deep in it last night, and I was like. Dude, I was getting pissed reading Instagram comments of all the people that were like, Toby and Andrew aren't in it. And I was like, explain this thing. Like, I yeah. kept being like, explain this. And like, it, dude, I'm positive there. So. <sighs> yeah, it's going to be gnarly. Oh, this has got to be. Oh, Ever since I got bit by that spider, I've only had one week where my life has felt normal. That was when you found out. <laughs> Me dang. When you botched that spell where you wanted everyone to forget the Peter Parker Spider-Man. So dope. So dope. We started getting some visitors. I seen Venom in the background. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> From every Woo! They finally showed it. And that one. That suit. Hello, Peter. I love that. So One do of my I. favorite villains, honestly, and, in Spider-Man. And I love when this scene. Peter Parker. Oh, my God. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to everything, trust sorry, me. sorry, what was your name again? Dr. Otto Octavius. I'm ready for this, though. I'm ready for this. <laughs> I'm not ready for that. Hey, no, seriously, what's your actual name? <laughs> there are others out there. We need to send them That's back. That's how you know we're boomers, bro. So, Scooby-Doo this crap. You know, all this is kind of your mess. I know a couple of magic words myself, starting with the word please. Please, Scooby-Doo this crap. <laughs> <laughs> You're flying out into the darkness Jay Jonah. to fight ghosts. What do you mean? They all what do you mean? <laughs> it's their fate. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry, kid. Yeah, me too. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're talking about right now. Yeah, but this... It doesn't have the extended scene. They're a danger to our universe. See, Mary, uh... You're not gonna take this away from me. Oh, the original Electro. So dope. You're struggling. Damn it. <laughs> That's a dope ass scene, dude. It is. He's like, everybody falls for this one. <laughs> right? So this this is what we're gonna spoil. really talk about. Oh, yeah, but yeah. We'll, we'll talk about this. We'll talk. We'll show that, and then yeah. we'll talk about that, and then we'll go back and review. Just this review it. Okay, let's do that. Yeah. So obviously, this this is what we're gonna be talking about soon. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. Right. I have something to say about this right here. Too. So do uh, so do I. I have a couple things about this. This looks fucking crazy, dude. Happening. They're starting to come through, and I can't stop them. This is clearly the end of the movie, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't watch that part honestly. So, like I said, spoilers. We're gonna spoil this yeah. for the end of the movie and like the whole movie. So, yeah, it's good. This is it. So this is right here. Yeah. Yeah, so what happens there? That's Lizard or whatever. He gets smacked. He gets smacked by what? And then why would all of them jump at these angles? Yeah, why the is The only there... person that makes sense is, for by... this is, Sandman. is maybe Sandman or yeah. maybe even Electro. But there is clearly a person missing from this. So we're going to replay this real quick. So look at um, Lizard. So look at look at look at, just look at the positions uh, of, of all, every, all three of the them. The only by one the that way. might make sense for our Peter Parker, the MCU Peter Parker, um, is either he's going for Sandman or he's going for uh, Electro. Electro. Yeah. But uh, one person you should be paying attention to right now for the spoilers is Lizard. 
So he gets <laughs> he, like, he gets hey. an invisible punch yeah. or an invisible kick for sure. This so this scene right here, he's all beat up. I think that this is also at the end of the movie, and he's probably standing next to Toby and Andrew at this scene on the scaffolding. <laughs> Toby's like, you got it. Bro. Well, because no now shit. let's talk now before we get there. I just want to remind myself. So I remember, but remember that leaked video in HD of Andrew Garfield sitting on the scaffolding with the blue screen. And yeah. then at that scene with the lizard and Sandman and Electro, what's That's... in the background scaffolding. It's well, the same fucking also, scene. Also, he was saying like, he can't save him. It's their fate. So maybe in their universe, they die. Or they're supposed to die in order yeah. to go back. So I don't know. And also but, notice that Doc Ock is missing in this scene. So he may die trying to save Peter. Well, he would, that's what he did in the in original. The, yeah, number two. Yeah. So it, beautiful. That's a, good, so that's far. a great assessment, bro. I, would I never thought that. Yeah, he's not at the end. Because he's he, not does, at that end he does work with them. So let's, let's continue. And then. Yeah. So yeah, this, this would like be a scene nice where he's probably like, he's like, fuck, I can't do anything. I like this scene, though, where it's like. Peter Parker, fucking public enemy number one. Yeah, yeah that's so dope. And he's just going around it. Where my life has felt normal. That was when you found out. And there's always, by the way, there is always a train scene. <laughs> Look at her face. It's just like my old face. Oh. <laughs> I, I hope this is the fucking uh the uh what should we call it the thumbnail <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude uh so for everybody knows there the scene when he's swinging through the the subway station there are always always a train scene in the spider-man movies from all three of and well a the most famous one is doc ock versus spider-man in number two yeah oh fuck when you botch that spell where you want Wanted everyone to forget the Peter Parker Spider Man. What I want to know though is like, how are those scenes gonna look? Like, what are those scenes? Because it's cut. What are we gonna see in those? I know, I know. Do you know little, there's like one minute or whatever, thirty second time lapse of the fucking. And remember, universe. and notice in this scene, uh, notice in this trailer, the lizard isn't jumping from the background, scratching at him anymore. So, yeah. so this it, that might very last interesting. a while. Yeah, very interesting. Already getting some visitors. Fuck. From every. See, they didn't see the show that in the last trailer, and me and you were both right. We're like, they're waiting to rebuild yeah. the characters, and they show Green now, Goblin a couple times, but you can't see a clear view of him. Yeah. Also, um, we still don't have a sixth member of the Sinister Six. There's only five of them in this movie so far. So there is going to be either a surprise with Vulture or Venom. I think. Yeah, it has to be Vulture because I they, think it's they... Vulture, but I think the post credit scene to this movie is going to be a callback to the Venom what scene. I, what I mean Venom by this too. is I think Vulture is going to be in the Sinister Six, not in this one. My theory, I'm not going to go with this theory, but if Morbius is him after this, I think if I think Vulture will be part of the Sinister Six of the future ah. installments. I think he'll be the one who's like, oh, so, let me get. I let think me... you're. I think you're right. And I have a theory, but I'm going to wait to tell you why I think you're right. And it's due to a scene coming up. Just right. so you know. I do like your, what you said, though. Right. Universe. So, wait, wait. Stop it. The black and gold suit. It's important that people understand what the black and gold suit is. Do you remember the first movie, Homecoming? So, when in Spider-Man Homecoming, when Tony Stark gives Spider-Man the new suit and he puts all the child protection locks on the suits, <laughs> yeah, right? I that, yeah. the, we've already seen this suit. What what this suit is, and I know this, I'm a positive of this, right? It it's this it's Obviously. his red suit turned inside out. The, it's in the first movie. The suit is black and gold inside out. That's all like oh, the fiber, ca all the cables and wires and See? so. And, okay, so and I'll I'll point out another scene that supports I, what I'm telling. You. In this movie, there was a set leak a long time ago about a character throw about a person throwing green paint representing Mysterio. On top of Spider-Man's suit, and that's why he turns it out because it has green all over it. That's oh. what that's what they were saying, and there were set photos of it. So I'm pretty sure that's why he ends up turning it inside out. Yeah. Fuck. Oof. He's the scene. Hello. One Peter. of the Hello, best yeah. fucking characters. Oh my god. And then they have a little fucking Oh, there's a Easter egg right here, by the way. 
I like so, this one. Why? Do, okay. Well, I have one reason. One thing uh, though. Why would his fucking? Okay, I have an explanation. I already know what you're asking. What's so that? you remember you're talking about the why does the suit transform like that? Yeah. Let's see it real quick. Okay. Okay. Cool. Let's watch it. and I'll, I'll explain what happens here. Stop yeah. it. So okay, let's want, rewind back to Avengers: Infinity War when Iron Man is fighting Thanos and Thanos smacks off half of Iron Man's armor and the nanites move to cover up and protect that part of the exposed armor that gets destroyed right in this scene right here you're seeing before the before his tentacle hits max parker goes there's a big hole in his chest there's a big part you can see the suit his like not spider suit you can see a dress suit underneath the suit and there's a hole it's a damage so all the nanites from his helmet move down to there to keep the armor safe it's okay. it's it, it was it, it's an ode to the it's a callback to when um he was fighting thanos he, when th- when and Tony Stark also got the thanos. uh the fucking snap and then yeah and so another thing is do you notice in this scene how is how his his tentacles are red yeah so what another thing that's happening here this, is uh, when the tentacles took over the nanites took over the t- the nanites got onto the tentacles so that might and then be that's how, they- how he come that's how he he's able to control doc ock yeah and but keep in mind also that the tentacles are artificial intelligence by the most high that's degree. how he became uh doc ock in the, the second one is because the, the ai took over the mind so they there's an intelligence to where that technology can absorb technology maybe dude oh so my sick. god i'm so hyped so for sick. this movie bro you're not Peter Parker. So that scene too, though. You're not Peter Parker, and me and you, you know, those. That's our. That's yeah. our Spider Man. Yeah. yeah, just kidding. <laughs> so also notice that the tentacles are not red. He still has the Iron Spider suit, so he has not got the nanites yet in this scene. This is still the bridge fight before the before this before he gets. I think the it red might tentacles. be the same fight. I think Goblin no, it is. It is. It, no, it it is. But you can tell that the the nanite scene when he gets smashed against the wall is below the bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, there it is, right there. Go back. Go back. So when the when he throws the car at him and pauses it on the license plate, boom! That license plate is the Spider Man license plate for the one of the issues right there. That's a that's an ode. To an original, uh, look, it says ASM eight one eight three. That's the Amazing Spider Man issue eight one eight three. Dude, hell yeah, dope, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, what was your name again? Doctor Otto Octavius. I mean, come on, nobody laughed at uh, what's that uh, the Spidey verse, bro? When well, when we'll she also, said her name. Well, also remember that in uh. In Spider-Man 2 with Tobey Maguire, Jay Jonah makes fun of him. He's like, a guy with the name Otto Octavius gets four limbs. It's it's yeah, see, I, I don't it's, even remember that. It's a stupid, it's it dude. The name is stupid, but it's cool. <laughs> it's hey, cool. Hey, hey, don't talk about my favorite film. <laughs> <laughs> He's dope, bro. He's such a good actor. <laughs> Wait, no, seriously, what's your <laughs> His look? He's like <laughs> I like how even when he looks, the, Wait, the no, bots the look at him too. Yeah. yeah. There are others out there. We need to send them back. So stop so. it. Wait, pause it. So this is the black and gold suit. Look, he has a cell phone duct taped to his uh, chest. I think I swear that's a the doctor spell. Doctor. Strange no, it is. Spell. It, it's it in the. It, that's a magical gauntlet. He uses. The theory is that whenever he hits one of the villains with the web, it teleports him back to the prison. But look so, on his chest. He has the fucking cell phone with Ned and Mary J, um, MJ on it. So I want to go with the, a limb on here, and they edited this photo to make it look like it's our Spider-Man. But I think this is Andrew or Toby Spider-Man. Maybe. I, 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 maybe. I, I wouldn't be look mad at, his at that. Suit and look at his body style. I'm sure I could be wrong. It kind of, you're right. be wrong, but in my opinion, that looks like the Toby Spider-Man. It, it looks like Toby stance. Yeah. Because Toby always was, Toby always stood up straight. <laughs> he did the action figure pose, bro. He did, but it was dope. Yeah. Like, well, he had the body for it, you know what I mean? Yeah, he had those fucking traps. And wouldn't it, like, wouldn't it be sick if, because in that end scene we we're talking about, um, our Spider-Man is going for Sandman. And it, wouldn't it be sick if our Spider-Man went for Lizard? Because... Well, you know, Dude. he never he the lizard was supposed to be in his fucking so like, funny story. Remember into the Spider Verse? Yeah. 
you remember how it ends when they're all fighting the characters that they know how to fight and at the end they're like let's switch it up we have to switch it up i <laughs> yeah, think that yeah. that's what happens i think you're right sick, about dude. that i mean i wouldn't be, I'd mad be okay with that i'd be okay with it <laughs> so far this movie looks amazing right you ready yeah Gooby do this crap. You know, Scooby do this. Your mess. I know this is for the ultra boomers, bro. The real yeah, boomers. For real. For real. Please. Even though me and you've definitely watched Scooby Doo like the classics. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for sure. I still would watch them. Um, <laughs> that's also a reference to what Doc Ock said about you're chasing ghosts. Oh. So the Scooby Gang always chase ghosts. It's just a like a writer being creative kind of I'm thing. Telling me he's fucking with the time gauntlet, bro. It's fucking what's his name, Mephisto. No scoot, dude, <laughs> dude. Everybody is like, why is Doctor Strange acting like such a dickhead in this? And I'm like, he's a doctor. Well, not only that, dude. He's fucking. He's seen this coming a mile away, and he's yeah, like, dude, he's God damn it! Seen... I thought I thought I predicted I was the one that this didn't happen to, not the one that yeah. did. Yeah, but not well, the one there's... that caused it. <laughs> well, also you have to remember that one chick, uh, Scarlet Witch. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. It, that, that's the other theory. Is this maybe Scarlet Witch? Which I don't think it is. No, no, no I'm not saying it's Scarlet Witch. I'm just saying like, no, no, she probably has the... her her battle probably had some. Ah, uh, it's just it's, it's yeah. so I'm crazy. Not yeah, it go it's crap. The Sandman, obviously. Yep. I love this though. It's Jay Jonah, and he's like, "You're proving my theory." <laughs> proving my theory. Yeah. But is this the Jay Jonah from, like, you're like, I think you were saying this last time. Is this the Jay Jonah from R, like the MCU, no. or is this, you know oh. what I mean? The this Jay is Jonah? the this is or the is there two Jay Jonas or there, even three? This is one of the instances where in the multiverse, two characters are look the exact same. Like, you know how Peter Parker in the multiverse, there's Toby, Andrew, I mean, they're Tom. all Spider-Man or Spider-Mans. And exactly. In this instance, this is our J. Jonah from MCU. From Because oh, okay. remember at the end of Far you're From Home. My poor Parker. Yeah, because look, he has a cameraman. The beard is different. It, it's our. It like he has this a is fake our, mustache, even though it's probably real, real or something. It, that, it, it's definitely our MCU version of uh, J. Jonah. It's not the one from Toby's universe. That's one of the questions I had. So yeah, I don't think it. I don't think it's Toby's. Yeah, you ready? Yeah, I gotta see that real quick, dude. The electro scene where he's bouncing off the telephone oh pole. I mean, the light post. Look at this. So looks like so, he's going through Sandman, bro. Yeah, but also point. I want to point out that I think that this is Peter and Aunt May's apartment building, and they're going to attack Aunt May. That's what they I think show, is happening show her in this running. scene. I, yeah, yeah, they. I think that that's what's happening here. But this scene, like we were saying, like this is a dope ass scene. Just, yeah. So he jumps from jump, jump, boom, boom, boom. So sick. So this dude. has to. I think this is right after that because look at he's like, you just fucked up at me. Yep. It's personal. That, yeah. Maybe I, that's after the rain scene is because maybe, maybe. Aunt, he kills that man. He's like, you guys gonna help me? They here? they did say. They Tom Tom Holland said this is going to be the darkest Spider Man movie to date. So we can probably expect to see one or two deaths. Mary Jane's going to die. I don't think it's Mary Jane because I think, I think that Jane. that no, dude, I have a theory about that. I'm glad you brought that up because it's I'm relevant. Go, I'm the complete opposite and say well, it's Mary Jane. I, I have a, a fan theory about this, and it's my own theory that like when watching this, that scene is a direct tie in to when. Gwen Stacy dies in the Amazing Spider-Man 2. That's she's falling That's the, the exact same way. That. That's the reason I don't think it is. I think that Andrew saves her. She's too famous. She's too I, famous I, to dude, die. I, I think Andrew Garfield saves her, and I think somebody All else I have dies. To say, if they killed off Emma Watson, they're gonna kill off Zoe but, Deschanel well, or whatever. No, her name's uh uh Z Z Zayana Zadana. It's a one single name. Anyways, but um. Gwen, Gwen Stacy was never a major, like, huge character. Mary Jane always was, or MJ always was. She was, but but, Mem, but MJ, she came after MJ. Gwen Stacy did. Yeah. And that's after MJ and Peter were, like, getting married and died. Um, just I'm just telling, I'm just, just saying, I don't think you're wrong or right. I don't it's think a you're possibility. wrong either. It's a possibility. And I, if I it happens. I don't think you're right either. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> if it happens, if it happens, I wouldn't be mad. At I all, wouldn't be mad, I, I wouldn't be mad at all. I would literally, but I think that they did that on purpose because of the Amazing Spider-Man two scene. And I think in that scene, somebody else dies, and I'll point out who it is when it comes up because it's relevant to a comic book character. And then the other thing is, I think that Andrew Garfield saves MJ and redeems himself for dropping Gwen. That's what I think happens in that scene. But you could, if that's but deep. if I'm wrong, I'd be 
okay with it. I'd be like, That's hey, good. I'd be I'd be okay with it if 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 MJ dies. I, I think I think uh, MJ. This MJ MCU MJ lands on our MCU Gwen Stacy, and that's how, <laughs> that's how she lives. Hey, I'd be okay with it. <laughs> I'm, here for the, I'm here for the action. <laughs> ghost. What do you mean? They all die fighting Spider-Man. It's their fate. So this is look at this. I think he's trying to save right here. Is trying to save. Uh, my whole thing is. Um, in this scene, I think he he's gonna be there to see every uh, villain die, and especially uh, Harry um, Harry uh, Os no uh, Norman. Norman Norman Osborn, Osborn die, and to see uh, much uh Doc Ock die. And well, I I think you're right because it seems like what's happening here is Doctor Strange is like their destiny is to die, and this version of Peter Parker is like, no, I want to save anybody I can or. So, so, or he could just be showing them so, like how they died. So, in, in, I have a like, question. You know I mean? Let me ask you this. I think you're right about the ode, this being an ode to that scene. Because so, it, I think it's, it's going to be an exact... ode to both uh, so Andrew you... Garfield and could... uh, Toby C. So, he misses. He clearly misses. Yeah. Right? Who do you think the bomb hits? Do you think it's Aunt May? And this is when Aunt May dies? Or is he trying to save Doc Ock? Because Doc Ock starts helping him. Or, I mean, just saying hypothetically. Um, oh, the villains are supposed to die. Like these guys are supposed to die. So, what, I think this is probably like him trying to intervene in and what's uh, meant to be in history. You know what I mean? Uh, like Peter versus yeah. uh, Green Goblin. So Green Goblin he, fucked him up, but Peter was able to. Fuck is him. that? But uh, so another question: Is that the Iron Spider suit? Because if that's the Iron Spider suit, then th then he hasn't fought Doc Ock yet. It could be after though. You're right. This could, this or, could be like when he's talking if, to Doctor Strange, or, or what something. if, or or uh, it kind of, yeah, or it could be in the apartment building. Yeah. Um. Uh, but maybe, maybe Doc Ock isn't the first one to come in. Maybe Green Goblin is. Yeah, I think. Yeah, dude, dude. I, I think I, they're, I think they're doing trickery. I think they, that they, they did be, a dude. lot of trickery they with have this to editing. Be. And I'm good. I'm so happy that we actually might go to see this movie and go, holy shit! You know what I mean? Because exactly, I haven't had that bro. moment in forever in a Marvel movie. Except for, I think the only time it happened for me and you was when Captain America held Thor's hammer. And we were like, yeah. it blew us away, dude. We're like, what? We yeah, were, we're like, like, we were just like, okay, you both, he could do that? Me and you were high and buzzing. And me and you both were like, we knew he was worthy! <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> Sorry, kid. Yeah, me too. Don't. So that looks like when he tries to like rebel and be like, I could save everybody. But point this out. Stop it. Look, now he's not in the Iron Spider suit anymore. You're right. You're so totally this. Right. So now I'm thinking that this is after the Iron Spider suit, and this is before the green paint gets thrown on him. Look, there has to be another. And this obviously is like him in the, the spiritual world or whatever. Yeah, it's funny how they did the train scene. Like we we yeah we pointed out many a times. Universe. So dope, dude. So look at his little fucking his little comic original. Yep, that's comic original. Oh, so wait, wait, go back to when you can see uh, Jamie Foxx's Electro's armor. I want to point this out. Stop it. Look, it looks like he has an arc reactor. Oh. So we so I think that he gets at one point Green Goblin or Doc Ock upgrades everybody. Probably Green Goblin. What if he gets the technology from this universe? That's what I think. I think that he shows up blue. And oh, they just said the arc reactor. My bad. Yeah, because look, in the middle of his chest, he has an arc reactor. He's like, what? And you know what? I work for this corporation, and I can it, just. Yeah, dude. And you know what that vest looks like? It looks like Iron Man Two when Whiplash. But look, had look at that. him too. He also looks like his face is fucked up. Like he has some scars. Oh, it does. So maybe oh, like oh interesting from using the arc reactor it kind of like you know strains what I mean? from him all that all that electricity and all that heat you know what I mean in your face yeah like when Tony kind of like when Iron Man had it or something yeah when in Iron Man two that same thing happened he was getting a disease from the arc reactor in Iron Man two so but look at look at his hands too he has uh, so like I'm guessing gauntlets like gauntlets on his, on his belt too so he has to have some on his legs and his. And then we saw in the earlier scene where he just goes, whoosh, 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 yeah, you know what I mean. When he just bounces around, and it's yellow lightning then too. Yeah, see, so dope, dude. Look, oh wait, stop it right here. 
Now, doesn't it look like Electro is attacking Doc Ock? Yeah, I obviously, I obviously kind of figured they're gonna have Doc Ock be an ally. I think, I think, I hope so, because that would be so like so movie comic appropriate. I think with- that's why he tries to take the box and be like, "Hey, fucking Dude, this dude's actually a good guy." So maybe, so maybe what happens is Doc Ock realizes, "Hey, in my universe, I went after Aunt May. I bet you they do the same thing." And he he goes to protect Aunt May, and and maybe this is where he dies. And then maybe this is where uh, Peter Parker comes in. He's like, hey, what are you doing to the M.A., right? <laughs> Wait, well, come on. I thought I killed you. My email. <laughs> come on, on, Mike. <laughs> come on, we Mike. You know, we all know how Peter Parker was in the first <laughs> yeah. one. Yeah. Fucking... So this one is we're not getting everything what we see here. No, so not yeah, because the There has to be like something going on in the back. I 100% agree. I agree 100%. I think that this is. I, he has the so, box, too. So that has so to be I want to make a prediction. Box. I want to make a prediction. I don't. I think that Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield don't show up until this scene in the movie. I think. I, I think don't think one of I them show. Uh, I would say this. I, I agree with that, but I would say one of them shows up earlier than the other one does. I don't think they will show totally up at the same time. Right, I think you're totally right about that. I I agree. There's no way they show up at the same time. That and be since they're showing weird. electrode, I'd say they'd probably show um, Andrew first. Yeah. Yeah, because I think Toby's going to be the one that makes this the the audience go. Whoa! You know what I mean? It's going to be like Toby. Bully McGuire. Bro, I I gotta show you this video of this dude. He was talking about this, and it's the guy I showed you with the stupid skits in the beginning. Yeah. He did one where he put Bully McGuire in front of the lizard, and you know when Bully McGuire's dancing like this, and he kicks? He's like... He kicks the lizard, bro! It's so funny, dude! I I fucking... It's the first time I laughed my ass off to one of There'd be no MCU without Bully McGuire, bro. There'd be no MCU without him, bro. Without him Bully McGuire... The internet single-handedly influenced the MCU, bro. The, <laughs> this fucking Dude, crossover, I think, bro. I think two things happened. Two, I agree. The internet, and I think that Into the Spider-Verse made this movie happen. I think 100% Marvel was like, oh, yeah. holy shit, Into the Spider-Verse just did crazy numbers. Yeah, it worked. It worked way better than we thought Porky Spider-Porky Pig could ever do. <laughs> and like, I think 100% that that's what the internet and Into the Spider-Verse made this movie happen. I 100% think that. Exactly, bro. You're struggling. Damn Fuck, that seems so dope. Thing. You won. I wonder if when Willem he... Willem Dafoe. Dude, it's Willem Dafoe. That's his voice 100%. But when he's falling through that circle, you know, do you think that he just comes out of the sky? And lands back in the city. I was wondering. I know it, that's not important to anything. I, I think but- it's more when he's like going through the, through those like meditate, like the meditative meditative stages. Oh, where like, like when when the the grand the, he's whatever on the train. Yeah, and there's a bunch of trains. I think that's when Doctor Strange punches like him the, out and like fucks the with mirror them verse, his, like yeah. the mirror verse. Exactly. Oh, yeah. how cool! I think that's what, that's the only thing I can think about because that's what happened to Doctor Strange. So Doctor Strange is like. Yeah, oh, you gotta like, think. You gotta think that happened to Doctor Strange in the first movie, and then in Avengers Endgame, it happened to the Hulk. And this is how I think they would harden. This is the events that I think that would harden Spider Man to be like the next, you the know, real Spider Man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, speaking get, of uh, the base model, yeah, right. Thank you. Uh oh, he's like, you no, you're gonna bring back the friend version of me. Do you think? <laughs> Do you think happy happy dies? I think he does because he gets he's, he realizes he's just like oh my god I wasn't friends. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, well, it's funny. Somebody made a meme uh, with this scene, and when Spider Man's in jail or when he's at the interrogation room, and Happy comes in, and he it, it, it's a meme, and there and Peter's like oh I'm in trouble. I need a lawyer, and Happy this character he's like. I, oh, you're in luck. I know somebody, and it flashes back to when he was in Daredevil with Ben Affleck. Oh <laughs> shit! Yeah, because there's That's... a rumor. There's a rumor right now that Charlie Cox may make an appearance in this as Daredevil from the Netflix series. Oh, it's a shit. rumor. I don't think it's true. I do not think it's true at all. But it's a rumor, and it would make sense because uh, yeah. he does need a lawyer, and to some extent. So this I feel like is gonna be Spider-Man, Toby, 
and Andrew. Yeah. Yeah, I All agree. I agree. Us. So another thing real quick to point out uh, while this is playing. Oh, I, oh, people, was Andrew, let, I was like, <laughs> it kind of looks like it, but it's a thumbnail right here. Let me let, <laughs> let me pause, let me say this. Um, the reason that I'm positive at the end of this trailer when he's like, I can't stop them from coming through, how I know it's the end of the movie, because they're on the Statue of Liberty with Captain America's giant shield, right? There is scaffolding in the early beginning of the movie wrapped around the Statue of Liberty because they're rebuilding it or they're adding the Captain America shield. Yeah. In that scene where at the end of this trailer when Doctor Strange is like, they're coming through and I can't stop them, there's a wide shot and all that scaffolding is destroyed. So also, it's uh, it's obviously after all of what we just Looking watched. at this scene too, it looks like after he saves MJ. So uh, And, I'll, and I'm going to bring up the thing I wanted to point out about the Sinister Six that you were talking about earlier. And then the death scene that we both were debating on, um, which is about to happen. Because I do, I have a... Play the scene when she's fall, about to fall. I can't save everyone. So, like we explained, though, this is yeah. obviously the scene of... Well, we, look we at showed... a, Bro, it, look. Who the okay. fuck is... <laughs> yeah. One, I want to say, you may be right. Tom Holland may be jumping in to either Electro or Sandman. But if if he can't jump into both of them, so who the fuck is Lizard jumping to? <laughs> right. Exactly. Doctor Strange? I don't think so. <laughs> Doctor Strange. Yeah, he's just Doctor floating. Strange is like fucking at in like another like parallel the, universe. Is hanging he, out. This mother, fucking... this motherfucker, Doctor Strange is the least physical fighting hands on character of all of the characters. He never like lays hands on anybody. So why would he all of a sudden magically kick him? He's like, this is just this is exactly what I saw when air. I when I when I beat Thanos. I know I'd have to do this stupid shit. So I'm yeah, like, dude, fuck it. I don't I choose think, this I, fucking universe. I'm, I guess I'm fucking thinking that you're right. I think. Like I said earlier about them switching who they should fight, I think that fucking T Tom is fighting Sandman. I think Toby is fighting the Lizard, and or maybe Andrew's fighting Sandman. Tom is fighting um, uh, Electro, and Toby is fighting the Lizard, and that's that why he gets magically kicked. <laughs> the, the a couple things about the scene, other than the invisible kick and why Lizard is jumping into nothing. Look, let's say, let's put it this way. It could be Doctor Strange in this, and Toby and Andrew may not be in this. However, however, look in the background at the scaffolding. That is the exact same scaffolding that Andrew Garfield's leaked footage was leaked up. Yeah. And that's also the same place. looks like the same place where, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Toby fought Venom. I think they're setting it up for, I think maybe some of them will get, erased maybe or like just get sent back to the their universe but i think it is going to set it up for the sinister six um, there's I no also, there's no doubt i i believe you i believe that i mean i believe that i also think that this movie ends setting up dr strange multiverse of madness i think it ends setting up the multiverse that's what's of madness. Have the sinister six so i don't think this one will but i think the multiverse you know how madness. crazy it would be if spider-man was in dr strange i'm sure he will be why not dude? i i would I would. Sony's shit. giving them their dude. Fucking, their whole fucking material list. It is. You know it, I mean? their fucking, it their is whole a backstory. Their whole and their whole bro, manga fucking story, bro. <laughs> it's a fantastic time to be a Spider-Man fan right now. Fuck That's yeah, all. Dude. All I gotta say because wow, like I was iffy with Tom Holland, but this trailer really makes me go fuck yeah. Like he's oh, graduating yeah, high school. He's going into college. We're getting into my favorite era now. I'm like yeah. When he I'm becomes gonna, mature, man, Spider-Man. Spider Man, yeah. <laughs> exactly. oh, not Spider Boy. <laughs> Let's finish hey, this hey, off, bro. Hey, hey, and Mysterio could be in this. He could not be dead. Yeah, that's who true. knows? Or we that's could get a new Mysterio. Who, who that's, knows? That's very true. Let's finish this off, bro. Fuck, that looks dope. Ooh. See, look, all the scaffolding is destroyed. Now watch the end of the movie. Okay, so stop it. MJ's falling. But there's an important thing happening here that you people would only know if they read the comics. MJ is falling and Tom appears she to be just saved. The only person well, who dies when they fall is like uh, when, Gwen Stacy, right? Yeah, then uh, uh, and by the way... I think the, there's only one iteration is when Mary Jane actually dies, but I don't think Spider-Man well, catches in, her. In the cartoon, she ends up drowning and then they create a clone of her and then Spider-Man gets pissed and because it's his wife at that point 
<laughs> and and he fucking like goes like berserk on people, but turns to man spider. He grows three other <laughs> four other arms. No I'll be kidding. honest. I'll, I'll say this now. I don't think we're ever gonna get that in a movie. Um, no. I hate to say it, uh, but we're I, gonna I, get I, a what if. I'd like yeah. that. Hey, it's gonna good be a idea. Kid, what if though? It's gonna be fucking P. It's gonna be G, bro. Oh, uh, that's garbage. But so important scene about why I said I don't think MJ dies. One, you pointed out something that even I didn't notice earlier where he's talking to MJ with the mask off and he's like, I can't save everybody. And you were like, what if this scene happens after her, she falls? And I was like, he may be right about that. But the other more important thing here is Ned is he's all beat up too. Yeah. Yes. I've so, seen him talking to somebody who's all beat up. So Ned is in this scene. Do you see how Ned is trying to save her? And that's he ends Ned? up, that's Ned. That's okay. Ned uh, with the letterman yeah, jacket. Yeah, he wears that see. same jacket throughout the same whole fucking trailer. But this scene, MJ falls and Ned lands on a post. In the comics, <sighs> Ned dies and becomes Hobgoblin. So I just wanted to wait till the, now to say that because, yeah. <laughs> I, I, yo, I don't think we'll get a Hobgoblin in like the next movie. But if oh. if I 100% am like, if that ha- if if she doesn't die, I think Ned, Aunt May, and Happy die. And Doc Ock. They all have to die. I mean, they're they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna either the only one thing is they're gonna be sent back to the universes or they're gonna be spawned into this universe and have to die their natural deaths. Yeah, but for the record, they all of them, even record, Bully McGuire. The only people that don't, (laughs) for the record, the only uh villains that don't die from those universes is Sandman and um Lizard. Yeah. So, but, but there's I just, still Venom. So I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see how Venom plays a part in this because he's thing. clearly a either part of that, it now. Either that, or he's just going to be a fucking end scene for like the the movie in like th- two years from now. Yeah, but <laughs> I'd be okay with that. But just to point out, in the comics, Ned dies and becomes Hobgoblin, and in this scene, he's hanging off that scaffolding, and instead of saving Ned, it appears, and I think that there's trickery going on here with the editing, like we've been pointing out. It looks as if so, Tom jumps for MJ. I think that Andrew swoops in and saves her, and then fucking Ned just dies. <laughs> just like, what? <laughs> 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 well, right, let's finish this off, bro. <laughs> Ned's over here. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no way home. That means no, no goodness coming from this. Yeah, right. They're starting to come through, and I can't stop them. He's taking a shit, is what it sounds like. December seventeenth, exclusive. Yeah. Anyway, so at the end there, you can see the scaffolding's all destroyed and shit. So that's obviously at the very end of the movie, probably. So, dude, are, how, how, on a scale of one to ten, how ready are you for this? Ten. I'm fucking ten. so ready for dude, this. It looks here, so bro. good, dude. I'm I. Fucking- <laughs> I haven't been this hyped since I since the since Toby's first movie, and, so, and then it, it, like it. I'll be real. The closest to the amount of hype I'm getting from this is in, in Far From Home, the illusion scenes with Mysterio when Spider Man's getting beat the fuck up, and that's then a good the one. end. Yeah, then the end of the movie when Spider Man, dude, it gives me chills when I rewatch it. When Spider Man's in that hallway with Mysterio and he closes his eyes and runs towards Mysterio and uses the spider sense, I was like fucking. Finally, like exactly, it, bro. It was amazing. Um, so for the ten, dude, like a ten, easy. How about you, dude? I am so fucking ready to watch this movie, and I'm ready for it to be out, man. Especially with all the holidays and all this stuff going yeah. on, I'm I'm just ready to see some good MCU movies. Especially since uh, the Eternals came out, and we enjoyed and we, it, and we surprisingly enjoyed it. And and everybody is shitting on it and saying <laughs> they're saying the but, worst shit. They're like, Eternals needs a Disney Plus show, and I'm like. No, 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 no Disney Plus shows. We're all no good. Disney we already Plus got. Shows. We, we'll, we'll, we already, already that'll talked come to that up. shit. Yeah, that'll come up. But um, thank you so much, Cole Cannon. Really appreciate it for you being here. Uh, we got a lot more to come through. Um, but yeah, check out the description because it's full Cole Cannon. Got some dope ass shit coming on. Always Hell going yeah. on. New content, all that stuff. Also, anybody listening that made it this far, we always forget to do this in the beginning, but please <laughs> drop your comments down below and put some requests in for something you'd like to see us react to. It doesn't have to be Marvel, Sony, Disney, Animated, Dragon Ball Z. It doesn't have to be any of that. It can be a total surprise. Exactly. Like, just drop a reaction for something movie, TV show, cartoon, comic related, 
and we'll give a first impression. Exactly, exactly. Uh, so, yeah, everybody be nice to each other. Holidays are coming up. Just be safe. You know what I mean? And uh, thank you so much, Cole Cannon, again. Yeah, time. man, thank you for inviting me on here. Yeah, yeah. Snurdcast. Oh, out.